Hi students. So let's focus on the ACCA professional skills for the SBL examination. Now students, the first thing that you have to remember is this paper is very simple because you effectively get 20 marks for professional skills. And students, one skill that is very, very essential to pass this examination is the skeptical skill, the skeptical skills. That is, you should be able to ask questions, probe the data, ask questions, okay? In simple language, you should be able to make sure the data what they are provided is sufficient. Do they have anything that is missing in the data? So this is very, very important in order to pass this examination. So students, whenever you are reading, your mind should work like a detective or I can say a Sherlock Holmes. You need to ask questions with regards to the facts that is provided. Not only for the skeptical question, everything, because that was something that examiner expects. And if you can build the thinking of skepticism, your answers will have a very, very strong point and you will be able not to replicate the same data that is provided in the examination. So students ask this question very well, skeptical thinking, ask whether the data is effective and I can always say this is more like thinking like Sherlock Holmes because that is very, very important. And then students, the next skill that the examiner is really preferring from the students since the pre-seen material is given is the commercial acumen. Now students, if you observe this commercial acumen is a very, very, very essential skill because this skill is very important because it's a strategic examination. You have to understand the industry properly, how it works, whether it is relevant to the industry. For example, students, I can generally say the commercial acumen can be effectively gained using the pre-seen material. That doesn't mean you have to memorize it, but you have to understand the pre-seen material. For instance, students, for instance, I can effectively say, for instance, a basic idea, pharmaceutical business. Now, if you see pharmaceutical business students, the understanding is it is inelastic demand because students, people need many still. But students, if you observe another example, like a chocolate company. Now, if you see students, if you observe a chocolate company, I don't think it is inelastic demand. It is elastic demand. And students, if you observe toys, it's a elastic demands. So you have to think more specifically to the industry. And also students, if you see, I told you one question is always to a risk. Now, risk is always subjective and it depends on the industry. Now, students, if you see in the pharmaceutical industry, the risk is very high. And also you have to understand it very, very, very well. And students, the most important thing, once again, I'm repeating is just keep in mind the skepticism skill. That is, you have to think with a doubtful mind whether the data is correct or not correct. Then comes the next skill, students, which examiner generally ask is the analysis skill. Now, students, if you observe analysis skill is something very simple. You will be given data and you have to always use the data and explain why this has happened using the evidence. So the evidence what you get to students, if I'm not mistaken, is the exhibit. For example, students, if the GP margin is 10% in the exhibit, analysis means you have to tell why it is 10%. And when you are saying this 10%, you have to interrelate whether these calculations are reliable and also connect it little bit to the industry application as well. And the other one, as I always told you, is evaluation. Evaluation and analysis looks the same. But in evaluation, you generally evaluate for a decision making. So I'll write down here, students, decision making questions. Example students, these questions in the decision making will always have something called recommend. There will be a verb called recommend or generally there will be a verb called advice. So students, it's almost similar to analysis, but you have to do a little bit of detailed understanding on the recommendation and the advice and you have to again sell the rationalization behind it. Why do you think so? And students, if you observe, this is like a bonus skill, which is communication skill. 
and students if you observe this is the most easiest skill because we are communicating in english so students if you observe the powerpoint presentation what you get in the examination is effectively focusing on the communication skill for instance of a communication skill i can effectively say is the format of your answers that is a communication skill and students one thing the examiner prefers is you can break down the question requirement into many subsections and develop tiny headings and below that headings you can do the explanations and discussion so this effectively gives you the communication skill so students again these skills are integrated with the question so if you answer the question properly only you will be getting this marks and also students i have to be very practical whatever the questions you get in the examination always be having that presence of mind and be skeptical to that present situation thank you very much students